Hello, my brothers and sisters around the world. Uh, once again, uh, we meet, uh, we manage to connect again. Uh, we've had a lot of hassle just to get connected. Uh, as you probably noticed, we've got an old fashioned uh, ca camera uh, with probably pixels not showing properly. And um, the, the, the equipment we have is ancient. So we're just uh, trying to get uh, connected with people uh, with what we have. Uh, we appreciate your understanding and your support. However, uh, I have a lot to say. We've got a lot of things happening in the world. Uh, things are changing rapidly. And I just wanted to make everybody aware of what's going on. As far as I can see it in the spiritual, in the spiritual realm, we have to be aware of that. We have to be aware of the fact that this is a spiritual battle. The battle is the Lord's and it is a spiritual battle. It is uh, forces, evil forces in heavenly realms, which are manifesting in the earthly realms. Now, having said all that, I would just want to give you the highlight of uh, important things that are happening around the world. UK is on the verge of collapse. Uh, there is a lot of uh, protests and massive uh, rebellion in the army in Israel. Uh, they don't want to fight with Hamas. Benjamin Netanyahu has gone out of public sites. Uh, we don't know where he is. Nobody obviously knows for, for security reasons. Obviously, nobody knows where he is, but he is out of sight um, for the fear of retaliations. And um, Iran has threatened to uh, assassinate him. And, and there's a lot of things going on. Uh, America, uh, obviously, uh, election is coming soon. And with all the campaigns going on uh, from both sides, uh, you have seen it yourself and, and I, to be honest, I don't follow those uh, media. I've boycott the mainstream media for quite a few years, probably more than a decade. And I did say in one of my past videos, I made a call for people to uh, take an action basically and, and, and boycott all these mainstream medias. And, I don't think it has nothing to do with me and I'm not going to take any credit on that but uh, I know a lot of people around the world have done that and have been doing that, boycotting the mainstream media and that has given a big signal, a slap in the face of the, uh, the mainstream media. And they know that, they have heard it, but obviously they won't admit to that but what's happened, the reason I say they've heard it is because they, they've uh, moved and uh, now onto social media and uh, as you can see in the UK and other parts of the world they are censoring uh, your voices our voices in the social media uh, labeling them as misinformation and disinformation and you know harmful uh, information causing riots and violence, those kind of things that it's just like against our democracy, you know, as they say it, so to get the majority of people on their side, so to get people to report to them and all those kind of things. I, there's a lot of things to say. I don't want to get into details of those things. I just want to say uh, there's a lot to uh, consider at the moment. Uh, before you get into your polling stations, if you're American and you want to get into the polling stations to vote, you need to uh, consider a lot of things as you, you do that. Uh, first, seek the kingdom of God because uh, Jesus says no one is good. So don't put your hopes on one person. And, I, and you know what I'm talking about, who I'm talking about. And, and I did say... Uh, a, a, a few things about the last um, or the first uh, assassination attempt on uh, former President Donald Trump and I still stand on that, on whatever I said. 
I, I don't back down. I, I believe what I believe and I believe what I said is still true. And when I said those things, if I wasn't the first, I was one of the first who said that. And um, I didn't get any information from anywhere. I hadn't been, you know, uh, watching anything or, you know, listening to anybody. And uh, it's been a few months now. Uh, other people have come up with the same, uh, same suggestion and same yeah, idea. But of course, they're all censored and you probably don't get to listen to them or see them. And more and more people are coming up with more evidence that what I said was actually right. So while I'm still standing, I'm still standing on what I said. I believe what I said. But at the same time, as I said in that video, I still say, um, regardless of what they do, these are politicians. Politicians say something, do something else. That is, that is the core of politics. If you don't do that, then you're not a politician. And that, that's what they do. Uh, you are in a situation, your opponent is doing crafty things, uh, probably 10 times worse that you need to get into the office. You know you have to do whatever it takes to, to get there, to get things sorted. For the good of people, for the good of uh, the world, whatever it is that you have in your mind, then uh, you might uh, feel like you need to do certain things, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So uh, that is their business, that is not, nothing to do with me and I don't think it should have anything to do with us as, a, as, a, uh, as the church, as the body of Christ. And to be honest, we have to be aware of the, those things so we're not fooled, so no one can pull wool over our eyes. So we are not putting our hopes and trust on a man or a woman uh, or, or anything else, but on Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the hope of our um, salvation, hope of our glory, our, everything we have in this life and, and hereafter. So we have to only trust him. We know the ruler of this world is evil, is Satan, and all the kings of the earth gather together to plot against the anointed one and if they're against the anointed one they're against you uh, you um, don't doubt about that one uh, they are going after christians in particular in england and this is spreading across the world it is happening in america it has been happening in many parts of the world christianity is under attack now i should say Christianity has been under attack for quite a few years, but now it's been ramped up and they're coming after us heavily. So you need to put on the full armor of God and pray earnestly, kneel down. We all need to kneel down and pray for ourselves, for our fathers and forefathers to be forgiven and for our land. So our land will be forgiven and be blessed again. This is the call of the uh, Word of God. It is from the Word of God. I am not adding anything to it. I'm not taking anything away from it. I'm just saying as it is. Unfortunately, lots of people in the church, lots of church leaders, unfortunately, they are keeping quiet. And unfortunately, again, this is the reason why we're here now we are where we are today because of uh, church and Christians as a whole, basically the church, the body of Christ, not standing their ground for uh, what they believe, for their principles, and not uh, rebelling uh, in, the, in the sense of um, against, going against uh, the, the world leaders agenda you know they you know what i'm talking about they, they bring in uh, self-checkout services in the supermarkets we don't say anything they bring the scanners body scanners in the airports we don't say anything 
we might just mumble a little bit and grumble and, and you know, get angry between ourselves and, and within our families. But uh, at the end of the day, we don't actually go out and say, this is wrong, this is evil, this is just one step before or one step short of the chip coming. So I just wanted you to be aware there are lots of things happening in the world. It is not exactly as you see on the surface. Donald Trump, uh, former President Donald Trump, um, might be your best option to vote for, and it might be my best option to vote for, although I am not in a position to tell you, to tell anybody, uh, or suggest to anybody what or who to vote for. And uh, in particular in America, I, I, I am not known at all. Uh, I might be known in England a little bit, but I'm not uh, a person with a high profile with a, with a lot of people, millions of people following me, uh, any, any of that kind of a, a profile. So I am not in a position to call for any kind of action here as far as voting and election comes in. But I would still say boycott the mainstream media. You can do that. That is the least you can do. Get your news from elsewhere if you want to but seek the kingdom of God. The Lord himself will give you the news. Whatever you need to know, you will know. You will get to know. And believe it or not, you will get to know. You pray and you will get to know. Uh, I, I, I'm not watching anybody. I'm not watching anything. I don't listen to anybody. I, I do here and, here and there, uh, now and then, on certain um, I've got my own certain sources, uh, I just watch those things, but I'm not persuaded or dissuaded by anyone or anything, apart from the Lord himself. And I've made a point of that for years I've been doing this. Now, I would like to talk about a lot of things I can't talk about on uh, YouTube publicly, and I, already I've already said a lot of things, too much probably, for... Um, for certain people and certain countries uh, and I would like to talk to you about these things in a smaller group, um, hopefully in a bigger group, but privately. And, and uh, if you join us uh, in our group, you will hear the rest of this conversation and we'll be talking about all these things in more, more detail. I hope you join me in that group and I hope to see you soon.